Welcome to a new school year here at William Wirt Middle School. So we're going to go on a virtual tour today and I want to start with telling you what it's like and the expectations as you arrive here on campus. So whether you are a walker, a bus rider, or you get dropped off by your parents, here's the area where you're going to see. Our parents can drop our students off right over near the parking lot. The buses come right here in the circle and if you're a walker you can take the lovely colorful stairs along the side as you come to the campus. Also once you get here our expectation is that you will walk safely throughout the campus to your two designated locations. You can either walk here through the south doors and head over to the gymnasium while we wait in the morning for dismissal to classes or you can come into the cafeteria and grab your breakfast. Let's go ahead and head inside to Ms. Wells where she'll share more. So these are our main doors. All students and parents, whenever you're entering into our campus, these are the doors that you were entered during all times. If you're coming in and you're a little late or if you're on time, you want to make sure that you buzz right outside this door. And here, this is where you would buzz into the main office and ask for entrance. Parents, make sure that if you're coming into the building, you're scheduled by appointment and you have your ID. Let's head on inside. Jaguar Scholars, this is our cafeteria. Most of the students come in the morning to eat breakfast in the cafeteria. There are some students who prefer not to eat breakfast and they decide to either study or catch up on some of those homework assignments. Students are to remain here in the cafeteria until they're dismissed to homeroom. During lunch, students have the opportunity to engage with their peers, peer interaction. They also get to decide what foods they decide to eat for lunch. Some of their favorite foods, such as burgers, fries, chips, oh my. Students also must remain in the cafeteria until they are dismissed. So if you come with me, I can take you to one of our favorite favorite hallways in the building. It's our creative arts hallway. Some of the students here who have registered for music, chorus, Spanish, Italian, will take classes down this wonderful, wonderful hallway here. So if you think you have what it takes to sing, can you play an instrument? Do you enjoy or would you like to speak another language? Then I would suggest that you talk with your counselor to see if you can register for band, instrumental music, chorus, Spanish, or Italian. Also students, don't forget about dance. This is our dance studio. So, you think you can dance? Got what it takes to dance? Or maybe you don't have any dance experience at all. This class is still for you. Jaguar Scholars, I look forward to seeing you soon. And now, here's Mrs. Rosario. She'll show you more. Hi, my name is Ms. Rosario. I am the administrative assistant here at William Wirt Middle School. This here is the main office. And what we have here is myself. Here in the first um, desk, second is Mr. Boone, which he is also the administrative assistant. And what we have is that we pick up the phones, we answer emails, and we help students, teachers, parents, and the community. Uh, what we have right out here quickly, parents, is parent information. And one of the things that we are doing now for COVID, due to COVID-19, the office is only open on Mondays and Wednesdays. And what we ask parents is if you need to come to the building, you must call the office and make an appointment first. You are only allowed to meet with the individual you are meeting with and then you must have your mask on as well. This here is the waiting area where the parents will be waiting to meet with, the, with their um, appointed person. And then once you are in the building and you are meeting with your person that you have an appointment with, you are to leave and you cannot meet with anyone else unless you have an appointment with that individual. On Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, sorry, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we are working, teleworking from home. So if you do call the school, please leave a message and we will get right back to you. So at this time, we will introduce you to Ms. Arias, our guidance secretary. Hi, William Ward Jaguars. So I'm Ms. Arias. I am the guidance secretary as well as I back up Ms. Phillips, which is our school nurse. 
and this is her office of course uh, we are actually right next door to each other so as you can see you would come in this door right here and her desk is right there if you ever need just make sure you have a pass to come see her at all times we're gonna walk down to my office and this is the guidance suite and just always make sure that you have a pass when you come but you would come through this door right here and this is my desk Welcome William Wirt Jaguars here to the guidance office. I am Miss Adias and I am the first person you see in this office before you see your guidance counselor. Make sure that you make an appointment, you or your parent, before you come visit us. I am the main person to assist you or your parents with registrations and in anything you need or have questions regarding guidance, make sure you refer them to me before you contact your guidance counselor. Uh, we have two counselors that are behind me, that sit behind me, and then we have another one that sits to my right, so make sure you see me first before you see them. Action. Hi, I'm Mrs. Meeks, the Community School Coordinator. Welcome to our parent resource room. And here we have our parent engagement assistant, Ms. Cindy Alonzo De Leon. So here at the parent resource room, we meet with parents to connect them to different resources. So if you need assistance with job applications, internet access applications, or food applications, we are here to assist you. So I'm gonna actually walk over to the media center and show you um, some of our friends over there. Media Center, we have a few classes here, and you can actually meet our IT tech who's housed here and can tell you a little bit more about what he does. Hi, how are you doing? I'm the IT technician here at William Ward Middle School. I'm the one that comes and fixes all the technology here in this building. So if you ever need any, have any issues or need assistance, I'm the person to look for. All right, so I'm going to walk you over to Ms. Blundell. Hey, there you go. Hi, I'm Ms. Bundell, and I am the school testing coordinator. And I would love for you to have a wonderful year this year. I'd like to take you down the sixth grade hallway that's going to have some sixth grade classrooms as well as some creative arts classrooms. So come along. This right here is our elevator. So if you needed assistance going up or down the stairs, here's where our elevator is located on the first floor. We come down this way, down the sixth grade hallway. The first room we come to is our data room. This is an important room because this room is where all of your leaders of the school as well as people from the Board of Education and so forth come here so we can talk about student data and how we can better serve the students here at William Work. Walking down the hallway, we have a science classroom that is a sixth grade science classroom and two RELA classrooms for sixth grade. Continuing down the hallway, we have another science classroom that we're going to come to and directly across from that is going to be a AVID classroom. So if you have AVID on your schedule, this is where Ms. Murray and Ms. Dr. Davis's classrooms are for AVID. The last two classrooms we have on the sixth grade floor are two arts classrooms. So we have Ms. Shellen and Ms. Smith's class for art. We're going to walk through the data classroom in order to get to Ms. Alonzo, who's going to bring us outside to show us some of the sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade temps. Hi, Ms. Alonzo. Hello. So we have here, we're going to walk outside. We have some temporary classrooms. So we have here over 16 temps. They're used for all the grade levels and for all different subjects. These are just here for extra support and because we don't have the capacity sometimes in the building. So what we have here is the entrance for the gymnasium. If we walk down this way, we have the sixth grade hallway, which is creative arts. And if we come through the stairwell, you can go downstairs and you will be in the boys and girls locker room to change. And now we're going to hand it off to Ms. Fizavia Holmes, and she will be explaining what the second floor is. 
welcome to the seventh grade floor. So here is where you will see and have all of your seventh grade classes. So everything from reading, science, and social studies, and even a few of our ESOL classes are located on this floor. So because seventh grade is so large, all of our seventh grade classes aren't here, but a good number of them are. So come on, let's explore the floor. Pausing right here is where you will find the girls and boys restroom. So as you can see, we are still getting the school clean and ready to receive you. But note that the restrooms are located on each floor so that you don't have to travel far and you won't be missing instruction. Hi, I'm Ms. Cook and I'm the Special Education Department Chair and welcome to the 8th grade hallway. In the middle of our hallway we have the bathrooms, the girls and the boys on the left hand side of the hall. And this is where the majority of our 8th grade classes are held. So you would have your reading class, math, social studies and science. At the end of the hallway we have our ESOL and Special Education Department office where there are resources to support academics. Here is our special education and ESOL department office where our school psychologists, our speech pathologists, our um, occupational therapists, and all other related service providers are housed if ever you need academic support or any resources to help you. Now we'll go to Ms. Holmes and she'll show you more. Follow me. main corridor. So this is the hallway where all of the transition happens. So whether you're going to the cafeteria, out to the temporaries, upstairs to the second or third floor, or even to the main office, here's where we transition. But the main thing that we want you to know is that while you are in the hallway, it is so important to make sure that you're safe. So while you're in the hallway, a few of our expectations are is that you walk to the right of the hallway. Again, you are walking. Also, because we are social distancing, we're asking that everyone stays at least six feet apart as you're walking throughout the hallways. If you're going upstairs, there's a side for going up and there's a side for going down. So make sure that you pay attention to all of the signs while you're here. And last but not least, because we don't want to interrupt instruction, we want to make sure that as you're walking through the hallways that you're keeping your voices to a minimum so that you're not disturbing the classroom or the people on side of you. So again, this hallway is our Jaguar hallway and here's where we want to make sure that we're being safe and where we're also making sure that you are getting the best experience here on campus. Hello, William Wirt School community. My name is Rhonda Simley and I am the very proud principal here at William Wirt Middle School. I want to welcome you all to the 2021 school year. Who would have ever thought we would be starting the school year from home, but we are. However, we are super duper excited about this year and all the vast innovative ideas we have to welcome you forward. As that's our new theme this year. Think big and go beyond. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Go beyond. Today I'm going to take you on a brief little tour of the administrative suites. Come join me. First stop on our virtual tour is our administrative office suite. We're going to stop in and say hello to Ms. Iliano. She is the leader of North Carolina A&T. She will be overseeing scholars that are in grades 7 and 8. Hi guys, my name is Amy Iliano and I am one of the assistant principals here at William Wirt Middle School this year. I am a proud graduate of North Carolina A&T State University and this year we're going to be the Aggies. A little known fact about William Wirt Middle School, it was, it was built in 1963 and it was named after William Wirt, our ninth U.S. Attorney General. Some general expectations that I have for you guys this year, our motto is to think bigger and go beyond. And with those seven habits of highly effective people, I want you to remember to begin with the end in mind. Remember that you always need to set a goal for what you want to do with your school year and where you want to be at the end of the school year. So please have a vision and make plans that get you where you want to go so that you have began with the end in mind and when you get to the end of your journey, you will be successful. The second goal that I want you to observe is to put things first, put first things first. And understand that I know that there are a lot of things going on now that we have COVID-19 and that there are a lot of distractors, but your work, your assignments are your first priority. So please make sure you're doing your assignments and turning them in on time. And finally, sharpen the saw. 
Make sure that you're always reading. Make sure that you're always researching. And make sure that you're learning new things, whether you're here, in the school building, at home, or even on your own. I look forward to having a highly successful year with you guys this year. Go Jaguars! Aggie Pride! Go on to the next office. This is the best office in the administrative suite because it's mine. And I am the proud graduate of Virginia State University. And I oversee everyone. Let's go to the next one. Here we have one of our newest assistant principals, Mr. Zuri Keenan. He is a proud graduate of FAMU, this is Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. And he will be overseeing sixth grade and creative art teachers. Hello, everybody. Zori Keenan, representing House Florida a and which is, stands for Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. We are the Rattlers. And a unique fact about the Rattlers, or the University, uh, Florida a and University, is that it sits on the tallest of seven hills in Tallahassee, Florida. So the motto of Florida a and is, excellence with caring. And one of the things is that's what I expect of all my scholars here at William Work is excellence. And of course, all of us need to develop a community of caring. We shall, we will. Jaguars in the house of the Rattlers, let's go. And over here we have Miss Ball Lacey. Miss Ball Lacey is her second year here as an assistant principal. She is the proud leader of HU, which stands for Howie University, and she will be overseeing scholars in grades 7 and 8. Greetings. I am Mrs. Atia Ball Lacey, assistant principal here at William Work Middle School. I am a proud graduate of the Mecca, Howard University, home of the Mighty Bison. Howard University is a leader in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Did you know that the National Science Foundation has ranked Howard as a top producer of African-American undergraduate students who later earn science and engineering doctoral degrees? Pretty impressive, right? How's Howard students? Just like Howard University expects nothing but the best from its scholars, I too hold you to the highest standards. Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. I am looking forward to an incredible year of leading, teaching, and learning with you. I expect nothing but your best, and I will offer you nothing less than my best. Let's have a wonderful year together. And she's a dancer, a professional dancer as in ballet, jazz, African dance, she does it all. And last but not least on this administrative tour is Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall has been my assistant principal since I've been here, all five years, and he is the proud leader of BSU, which is Bowie State University, and he will be overseeing scholars in grade seven and eight. What's going on, everybody? This is Mr. Hall, the assistant principal here at Wigginworth Middle School and the proud administrator of the best house in the building, Bowie State University, home of the Bulldogs. Welcome to this new academic school year. It is my expectation, scholars, that you soar and do your absolute best. I know you have what's within you to do your very best. I look forward to meeting you virtually and of course, hopefully in person as the year goes along. It's going to be exciting. My expectation is that you do your very best. If you need anything, you can always reach out to Mr. Hall. I'm expecting you to do your best. Let's make it a great year. Let's go, Jaguars. So here was our tour of our administrative office suites. I hope you enjoyed, and we can't wait to hopefully one day meet each other face to face. Have a great day. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Ortiz and I'm your student advocate. I really hope you guys enjoyed the virtual tour that we had. Um, and if you guys look forward to the new school year the way I do, then we will all be positive and have a great start. And I really hope that you guys have a great school year. And look forward to seeing you. Woo.